I will not make any deals with you. I've resigned. I will not be pushed, filed, stamped, indexed, briefed, debriefed, or numbered. Well, hello. Thank you for joining us today for another installment of Roger in Kansas City. And I'm your host, Roger. You may recall, if you've seen a few of my videos, that about uh, in August of 2014, I made two videos about an island called Bushin Island. Bushin Island is part of the Falkland Islands. That's the Falkland Islands in the southern Atlantic, and it's the southernmost island of the Falklands. And there it is. Now, this is on Flash Earth. You cannot find it. You can find it, but it's very obscured on Google Earth. And um, I can imagine why. Now, I'm, the other two videos I made were this one, Falkland Islands Mystery, back in August of 2014, and the other one was um, Falkland Islands Secret. They've done all right. Um, one odd little thing about it is that, you know, YouTube partners that make videos, um, we can monetize these, these videos, and um, I don't make a huge fortune off of this, but it's, it's just fun if you can make a couple of bucks. And I can monetize all my videos. I've made over 100 videos in the past two or three years, and these two videos, here they are, are the only two videos that YouTube will not let me monetize. And I've asked them multiple times. There, there's no copyright infringements. There's no, no rule breaking going on. I just think that's a little odd. Anyway, moving on. Okay, a little quick history here. And I know Wikipedia is not the best source, but it's the most I can find on this island. Um, it was discovered in 1701 by uh, French explorer Mr. Bouchin, and it goes on to say that the island is uninhabited. It has a few huts built back in the 1830s for whalers, and it, as of today, it is a nature reserve, and you need permission from the Falkland Islands government to visit the island. Wow, I wonder why you need permission. Moving on. In my first two videos, I only had this shot to work with from Flash Earth, and it was pretty good. I think the uh, videos came out pretty well for what we had to work with. And uh, there's haven't changed anything. Let me see here. And this is a straight shot from the screen. Let me find this. And I think it's pretty amazing still that we can see um, these odd structures. That looks like a statue of some sort. I maintain that's a pyramidal structure. Uh, we have this, let me get this straightened out here. We have this tower here. Again, we have another pyramid looking structure. More structures. And um, this is the east side of the island. The Wikipedia source said the only structures were old buildings on the west side of the island. So this is the material I made the last two videos off of. Then let me show you what I just ran across recently. That's not it. There it is. This is an honest to goodness photograph of the island apparently made by the Bushin Fishing Company. Um, I don't think they're based on the island. As far as I can tell, they're based out of Stanley on the Falklands. But this is a pretty darn good shot of the island from on the east side. So what we were just looking at overhead was over here. And fortunately, we were able to get a pretty good shot of this. And also, I'm, I'm not going to call it an enhancement as much as I call it a correction. 
of the picture. But we can zoom in pretty good right here without doing anything to the picture yet. And we can start to see some odd odd things in here. Now the southernmost end of the island that we're looking at, it, it is the most difficult to see and I'm not going to show much on it today. But we're going to show a lot of the main portion or the larger portion of the island which we're headed to right now and there's the eastern coastline and a lot of bluffs and cliffs. The island is about two miles long and about a half mile wide at its widest. Let's see if we can get any closer here. Again, let me hold it right here for just a second. Just with not doing anything really except zooming in on it, you can start to see that we ha that's that line there's a bird but there's some type of structures going on some type of statuesque relief if not total statues but we're going to get a closer look at this something's coming into focus now um, <clears throat> on the original satellite videos I did I could see what looked like giant statues or representations of something and it's starting to we're starting to see like forms of giant humanoid shapes here that line is that bird now here we go what is this and even in the uh, last videos S or what is the letter S to us figures prominently and here it is prominently again um, S mean is a symbol to them whoever they are that means something we'll figure it out at some point again we're starting to see uh, other odd shapes here's another S but there's something in front of it there's writing above that S I might be able to clear it up. Now this is really interesting. Here we go. Let's go to this one first. This looks like a giant relief. Again, I don't know if it's carved into the wall or if it's standing independently. Let me hang on just one second. I gotta get this refraction out of here. But you can see what appears to be like a chair and in the next enhancement you'll see uh, what appears to be a little man sitting in there here we really have something going on I'll pull go in you pull out we see a lot of again statuesque figures is this like some sort of, I don't know, giant painting on the cliff side? If these are all real people, well, maybe that's why you need permission from the Falklands to visit. All right, so let's, let's go from there. Uh, here we are here. more humanoid shapes here's a big structure here um, I'm going to jump back to the satellite video for just a second but you see this here I'm not sure if it's this or maybe it's this right here but let's go back to the satellite for just a second Okay, back on the satellite shot, we see that tower looking thing, and I think that is it right there in the middle uh, of the picture here. So let's go back to that photo. It's, I'm pretty sure it is, that's what we're looking at right there on the satellite and the obviously large 
looks like a building structure here. Looks like some sort of cross piece with a support there. Um, and even in the satellite pictures, it's so obfuscated and washed out that we can't see any of this. But these look like independent structures. And there's something going on here. I know it's going to be hard to see on the video, but I can, I can see it on the picture here. But again, there's another pyramidal structure there. Okay, let's move on to the next enhancement, shall we? All right, so here we are on uninhabited Bushin Island, looking at the east side. Let's take a closer look. I call that the group photo. There's our guy in the chair on the left. Do you see our alien friends? I guess sitting here and here, there's a that big head. It looks like it's almost out in the water. Again. There's a big guy there. Point him out here. Right here. And more structures. Let me make this picture just a bit bigger. And we'll leave off with it. I think this is very amazing. I'd like to hear what the Falkland Islands has to say about this. Maybe they don't know it's there. I wonder if that's why the Queen sent everybody down there 30 years ago to prevent this from being found. I think it has something to do with it. I think that's the key part of the picture there. There's just so much going on. Yeah, Bushing Island definitely needs a closer looking at. What is that? That's as clear a shot as I've seen on it. It'll come out differently on the HD version. There's our group photo. quick you see here's like a little guy sitting here he's looking up and there's a guy if he's standing and he's bending over looking down I'm not going to make any supposition on what this is it but well, you know is this an alien I don't know civilization is this just a co-civilization that's always been there. Did they create us? Did we create them? Oh well. 
I will, if they show up, I will be very friendly. Okay, so there you are. What do you think about that? I am astounded. We'll leave off with this guy. Well, thanks for watching. I look forward to what anybody might have to think about this. This is Roger in Kansas City, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye!